Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would share how I remove my lip scents. I use the ink remover but I thought I'd share a few tips and tricks and how I get it, my lip scents to remove perfectly. If you're interested in hearing that be sure to stay tuned and keep watching. So obviously I'm still dressed if you can't tell and my hair is all nice and pretty and I love my hair in curls but first of all I get changed in pyjamas. So it's now way later and I'm Finally getting ready for bed, but all I use is the oops remover, this is what the oops remover is, and I apply a thin layer over the colour. Now, I don't know if you watched my, I don't know if you watched my application video, but you saw that the wand had no colour on it, whereas the Oops Remover wand definitely has colour on it, so it does get it off. Also, I don't know if it's just the brush, but it does slightly tint the water, because uh, it's clear, but now it's a bit pink. That's because I use Fusor and, Fusor and Apple Cider a lot. Anyway, I'm going to leave that sit for about 30 seconds and then I wash it off with a washcloth. I did actually already record a little video on my Instagram stories about how I remove it but I was in the middle of a hotel room and so the lighting wasn't great and it also wasn't like a sit down video so I thought we'd do a sit down video as well but I have, I think, uploaded that to my YouTube channel so if I have I'll leave that in the i button. There. <laughs> so usually when I'm getting ready for bed anyway. I put my hair up um, in a bun, but because I've got curls in at the moment, I do it in a little half bun at the back so that the curls don't fall out. And then I put a headband in. I have to say that oops remover doesn't taste great, but it's the best thing I've found to get everything off. So I'm just gonna go and wet my washcloth. I use my makeup eraser to remove all my makeup so I make sense to just remove my lip scents too. Now usually I am in the bathroom when I do this obviously so I get my washcloth soaked but I don't want to get it soaked because I'm in my bedroom and I don't want it to get water everywhere so hopefully it works a little bit but once it's been on about 30 seconds I rub my lips together, create a little bit of friction which breaks down the molecules of pigment and then I rub it off with a wet washcloth. And I will just get a bit closer so I can show you. Apologise for the view. I don't know if you can tell. But that has got all my lip scents off, and this is what the lip scents colour looks like on my funnel. And if I do it on a different piece that's clean, nothing comes off. So yes, if it doesn't come off the first time, I mean, I sh ignore this because <laughs> it's also taken off my makeup. But if it doesn't come off the first time, you can apply a second layer. With the dark colours like Napa, I tend to like to apply a second layer of each remover. And also, twice a week, I use a lip scrub. That gets rid of... Um, any little flakes that are left on but it also helps increase the exfoliation and reduce the exfoliation period which beginners and first time users of lip scents get to go through. Um, I think that's all I use because it, it, the oops remover seriously does remove it and although as a distributor I can't technically tell you this I have got a few customers that use the mice, micellar water cleansing is it called cleansing makeup remover? But yes you need an oil based um, remover to remove it which is why like oily foods can reduce the wear time anyway that's it for today's video i i'm sure you don't want to see my face anymore so thank you so much for watching i'll speak to you next time bye so i was taking some thumbnail pictures and i set the self timer and 
it also did the self-timer when I pressed record, so I don't know what that's about. There, no.